Welcome to Everyday Life with Kim 25. Please like and hit the bell ding. Hi guys, welcome back to Everyday Life with Kim 25. Uh, hi, I'm Kim. If you have not subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell ding so you will get a notification whenever I post. And please like the video and comment down below if you have any questions for me. So today I'm going to talk to you about mental health and my mental health is um, about anxiety, um, insecurities, and depression. And depression I will talk to you with a huge, another video I have in, in plan for that. Um, anxiety. Um, anxiety is more the nervousness, the unknown feeling alive for me. And I get that for with my foods. Like I'm allergic to many, many foods. And that it also with the unknown if I have a reaction or not. It with the um, anxiety I get. Uh, for anxiety I get like nervousness and then my stomach hurt. And not like like hurt hurt it like a nervous symptom like I get stomach problem or I feel sick I will throw up that kind of sickness and, and kind of like a butterfly um if you have anxiety and if you don't have anxiety you can look it up um, online and you will know more about it. Um, anxiety for me is I have it every day, every hour, or every minute, every um, day of my life. And how I get through it is a deep breathing, breathing into their nose, out to their mouth, or other way to work. Um, to calm myself and then I also listen to Christmas songs right now and that will help me to stay calm, to relax and I thought the uh, um, positive way to help me get through the day. Um, yeah. Um, in securities I have um, the feeling of, I have a lot of confidence in myself lately, I have, um, not doing okay, but I'm learning, I'm trying each day, I'm learning my way around the world, because a lot of changing is going on, and my, like, insecurities are like self doubts and not pretty, not beautiful, not worthy enough. I feel like I'm a failure. I feel like I'm not worthy. But I'm also grateful for my family and friends. I'm grateful for piano playing. I'm grateful for my art and crafts, but I also had the other side of feeling like you're not good enough, you're not pretty, you're not beautiful, you're a failure in life, and I usually get stuck and go into that hole and feeling like, is there a way out? Is there a way out of the feeling I'm having? And... Yes, there is, because you think positive, you think, wow, you come so far in the journey of hell, of the up and down in life, and well, how far you come, and you think happy thought, you think, oh, Kim, you get this far, why you're having really bad thought about yourself, you're doing so good in life. You have a YouTube video. You have a YouTube channel now. You have stuff that is lined up in life for you right now. 
even though I don't see it that way, but I do have goals in life that I'm trying to work through them and hopefully I can do them. And then I'm also having a um, goal for food. I'm trying new food. I'm trying new recipes. I'm learning my way of cooking my own foods and not depending on my mom and dad a lot. I'm learning it and I know it's difficult and hard some days, but hey, that life. Life will throw you the curveball and yeah, I can take it and go through life making a mistake and learning from them and you know what? Everyone has difficult difficulty and I'm not the only one who learning the ways of life. And if you have anxiety and the mental health um, more of it, um, you're not alone. You're not. I'm dealing with it. I usually don't show it to um, a lot of people. I keep it inside. And on this channel of mine, I like to express myself. Um, if you want to judge, judge me, go for it. I have nothing to hide. I have my experiences of my mental health. I'm still doing my um, mental health experiencing of it of all. And let me tell you, it's not easy. It's hard, and I'm just so sick of it too. So. A light, try, hit the bell, ding, and we'll see you next time.